please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Hopewell. We're here with another episode of Bulldog Morning Buzz. In the spirit of giving, we caught up with Mr. Velderman and two seniors about awards for potential random acts of kindness. Let's see what they think. About a year ago, we started what we call the Dog Park, so that stands for Dogs uh, Performing Acts of Random Kindness. Uh, we started this program because there are a lot of times where we don't really see the payoff of just being kind and being nice to one another. Uh, so it was good to start up a program so people get kind of immediate feedback of when teachers see you doing something good and, and the behavior that we want to see at the high school. Every teacher in the high school has uh, one of these, has a paw print. Um, so you might see them around school, teachers handing them out. So a teacher will hand one to you uh, if they see you doing something really kind. When you get one of these cards, it's going to have your name and the teacher's name that recognized your random act of kindness. And it'll have also your, um, the act that you performed written as well. You know, somebody spills their books, you help clean them up. Um, holding Even something as simple as holding the door open for somebody it could be helping somebody study for a test, um, you know, helping somebody understand something better. Um, just being you know, kind and courteous, giving up something, you know, some of your time to help somebody out. And when you get one of these cards, you can take it to the cafeteria and get a prize such as like a free coffee or a free bagel or a free donut or something of that sort. It's our effort to try to make uh, CHS a, a more respectful and better place for everybody. At the Winter Pep Rally, we will be picking names from the people who performed acts of kindness. And if your name's picked, you'll get a prize. Senior Dylan Markulek started a book drive for Christine's Hope for Kids. Here's Dylan to tell us more about the drive. Mr. Sherman's Global Public Service class is doing a book drive. The books will be donated to Christine's Hope for Kids. It's an amazing nonprofit charity that helps underprivileged kids all around the Mercer County area. It's a very important task for us and it, it really make a huge impact in our community and all the communities around us. And to truly understand how giving books and uh, how knowledge is power and it's a really good cause that we all can give a little bit to and make a big difference. Throughout the month of December, if you have any unwanted books, you can go to the media center and donate them. And if you donate a bundle, you can put your name in a raffle and possibly win a gift card. Every effort counts when it comes to helping others. Some CHS students are focused on their local community, while others have more worldly visions. We caught up with Global Connections Club to talk more about it. The Global Connections Club. Global Connections Club. The Global Connections Kenya. Focuses on fundraising in the community. It's essentially an alliance between Hopewell and Kuroka. Kuroka is the village that Dr. and Granny grew up in. Basically to connect Kenyan students and American students so that we can promote and celebrate our differences and similarities. To raise money for these communities in Kenya and our long-term initiative is to create a community center, housing, promote um, educational diplomacy. What we promote is high school students from America and, Ken and Kuroka um, to get involved in a exchange program just as you know we have Spanish, French, and even German exchange programs here. Teachers strive to inspire their students to pursue their goals. We have a story on a new teacher across the street at Timberlane. She was inspired by her high school teacher to become an educator as well. I'm Beth Judge and I teach Family and Consumer Science at Timberlane Middle School. Um, family and Consumer Science includes cooking, a beginner level cooking, and a beginner level sewing class, and there's family and science, science too, that is a, more of an advanced cooking and sewing segment. It's super exciting to watch from when kids really don't have any of the skills, like specifically for sewing, to watch their faces when they're taught how to sew, and then all of a sudden one day they end up with a product in their hand. They're doing basic pillows right now, and they're all excited that they made this, that they created this. What really made me want to become a teacher um, was I had a mentor, I guess teacher, who took me under his wing when I was a junior and senior in high school. And I got to the point, um, through my career, has gone different stages and different, um, different paths, but it's almost like um, it's, it's my turn to give back what I received. And I, w I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for the teacher that gave his time and his energy to me. Part of my background that enables me to be able to teach home ec um, is also, um, as an adult, my husband and I own a restaurant together. So there's a lot of restaurant experience that I'm gonna to bring to the table in class 
from cooking to menu planning. I also am pretty strong about um, strong beliefs in nutrition. So I want these kids to have fun in class, but also learn um, to eat healthy. Are you interested in helping others but don't know where to start? Well, school is a good place. The Himalayan Club is having a fleece drive during the month of December. Please bring in any old fleece jackets and put them in the box outside the main office at the high school. All of the jackets will be taken to the people in the villages of Nepal. Finally, we'll wrap up this week's episode with our latest bulldog buddy, Mrs. Cook's dog, Zena. Zena is a three-year-old boxer Staffordshire Terrier mix with boundless energy. She was adopted from the Burlington County Animal Shelter in 2014. Zena loves going for hikes, playing fetch, and checking the kitchen floor for crumbs. She is a very spoiled girl with a growing collection of doggy sweaters and a custom winter coat made by her grandma. In her spare time, Zena enjoys naps on the couch, crawling underneath people while they do yoga, and advocating for fair treatment of bully breeds everywhere. Let us know if you have a bulldog buddy that you want to see featured. I'm Brian Hill, and thank you everybody for watching.